Hi people, good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh and wishing you all a happy Eid Mubarak to all the Muslims all over the world who are celebrating and today, tomorrow and then for three days we have Eid, okay. So after one month of fasting, many, uh, many part of the world people are observing Eid. So there are two Eids, uh, two months from now we have a second Eid, okay. So this is called Eidul uh, Salamat Hari Raya to all my Malaysian friends, Salamat Hari Raya Eidul Fitri is called uh, Eidul Fitr, the second one is going to be Eidul Adha or the Kurban Eid, okay. So uh, I have many fragrances, my fragrances are like piling on and I bought many fragrances, I got a lot of samples to review but uh, due to a lot of running around, a lot of work, you know, last second shopping and going here and there, not giving, not getting enough time to do reviews. So I am doing five today to make up for that. Hopefully some of it you will like and some of it you will actually enjoy, okay. So the last episode I have here is called Pen Halligans, okay. Pen Halligans is a uh, niche house, uh, I think, yeah, niche house, they have uh, two different lines as far as I know uh, understood that one line is basically uh, more affordable not really affordable you know like I have sartorial that one it's around $150 range some of the other ones they have they are like 200 plus 220 40 dollars and some of them are like around 200 like under $300 so around you know within $300 range they also have fragrance so they are kind of expensive so I did review quite a few pen halligans from samples sometimes from bottles so today I have that uh, special line. This one I forgot the name exactly. That what line this was? Let me check. <coughs> Sorry, the voice is very in a very bad state. So this is actually from uh, man, uh, man. This one is like something trade, Middle Eastern trade, Arabian trade. I, I'll write down the name. Okay. So this is the fragrance called Babylon. So they have five or six in this line. Okay. Look at the presentation very niche and upper class presentation okay here is the box very beautiful these are actually inspired by i think middle eastern spices or middle eastern theme uh, like lifestyle or it reminds reminiscent of those markets or something like it so the trade line you know like the, when they went with the sheep to trade spices or something so it supposedly inspired by that here you go once again looks like carpet to be honest like middle eastern egyptian carpets very nice you can feel these babylon Pen Halligans, it has their logo and then it says Pen Halligans up here, yeah. Uh, in, it's like a wooden box, it says Pen Halligans, established in London. And base you'll find, uh, I think their other, <coughs> sorry, other information made in England, yeah. England, okay. I took out the bottle already. So I'll tell you something funny happened, I'll tell you. And inside it looks like that. It's a paper and then not really much cushioning, but the bottle sits deep down there. Uh, but I'll still tell you when you take it off, Sometimes the boxes can slide off very easily, you can drop it and break. So always be careful while handling them. Really lovely presentation, solid, solid presentation. So what funny thing happened was we, like when I got this fragrance, you know, uh, this fragrance did not spray. <laughs> you know, it has a faulty spray. Thankfully, the shop we bought it from, they were very nice. They changed it, totally replaced it. This is the bottle. Uh, this is very nice. They all have this kind of bottles. And I also have Cairo coming up from this line. I love Cairo more than this, okay. Uh, these are expensive, okay. These are $250 fragrances, okay. Take a look at the beautiful bottle, beautiful bottle, okay. Look at the crystal ball cap, very artistic, simplistic, but looks very elegant because the juice color is very beautiful. Gives that Middle Eastern vibe. And this one, for some reason, give me a feel of, you know, Christmas. I don't know why. It has this kind of Christmas tree, you know, that kind of feel. The design is pretty nice. Sorry, because tomorrow is Eid, so uh, a house, there's cooking going on, you'll hear some blending and stuff, like blender sound, I apologize. Uh, but the city is empty right now, very nice, okay. Uh, it's very peaceful in the city. Where is the sprayer, okay. <laughs> Let's spray this and talk about it. I have the dry down there. Sprayer is very good, okay. Sprayer is very, very nice. And this house, I'll tell you, they have a lot of fragrances. In Bangladesh, they do have the shop called Sandara, the retail outlet. They are authorized distributor. They have the whole line, the theme, you know, the picture is there, you know, like all the posters are there. So you go and have a very excellent um, experience, you know, you can go first and you see the bottles, all the bottles got testers, you know, they have those animal head uh, theme bottles. They look fantastic. But Pen Halligans, let me tell you before this one, I talk about it. Pen Halligans, their main issue, main issue, I reviewed and tested many of them. I tested in recent times, all of them, I think. So they have some excellent fragrances, but they do not last. You know, performance-wise, they're very, very, especially the expensive ones, when they don't perform, it's very heartbreaking. 
that's the one reason I do not own so many Penny Harrigans, but I did buy Sartorial there. Sartorial, it's not the best performer. I get about five hours, but projection is very poor. I still got it for the smell. So this line right here, the I forgot the name. Let, let me just get the name. Hold on. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I couldn't find what I read it somewhere. There's like uh, the, the, the trade there. I remember the word trade, but it's supposed to be like tribute to the city, you know. So please do read up on Fragrantic and read the comments. But I'm so sorry. I'm not a good sta storyteller. But this fragrance, coming back to it, it's a very nice fragrance. It's a sweet, uh, to my nose, spicy amber vanilla fragrance, okay. And uh, the opening is really gorgeous. It's very smooth. The opening is very lovely. It's something that you smell similar fragrances to it, but you will not immediately remember. Perhaps your mind will go to Amber Wise, uh, Mason Francis Kirkjohn, perhaps the, what's the fragrance? Man, <laughs> always forget the name, you know. Uh, the fragrance is called, uh, man, such a horrible situation right here. Uh, Grand Soir, okay. If you like that, this one has properties of it. But uh, most of the people who wrote it, and I have those fragrances, happen to have those fragrances, so I can compare and tell you. This is similar to a couple of fragrances that I have, and they are actually way more affordable than this, okay? Which make you wonder. Uh, let me show you which one they are. It gets compared a little bit of Ragba by Latafa, okay? And this fragrance, it's very beast mode, very loud, but synthetic at the same time. Got the vanilla warmth of it, amber, oud. Uh, not exactly same to this, but <coughs> got similar vibe. But mostly, this one gets compared to Arabian Oud, Kalemak. If you have this, you don't need that, okay? I'll tell you, because this one can be had for 100 something dollars, as opposed to half of the price of this, with excellent longevity. Both of them, they last, okay? No problem, but Arabian Oud, the presentation is just too good. So, Pen Elegance bottles are nice. You know, it's like a British regal house. I think the royal family has something to do with this house. I'm not quite sure. But this fragrance smells nice. It's for perhaps women and men both, but feels like it can be worn by anybody ideal time to wear this colder months night time if it rains warmer months i would not dare put this on me so the difference between this and those uh, there's a note of blueberry or something like that in arabian Oud kalemat this one i do not get those fruity notes so there's slight differences and arabian Oud kalemat and there these are both very smoothly done both niche house plenty well if you have one of them you don't need the other but the saffron the spices it does play very beautifully it's very smooth transition uh, it's a very uh, well done fragrance good quality ingredients has been used and the performance actually is what makes me smile i do love cairo more than this i have a sample of it i'll review it but babylon is for people who love fragrances sweet and that powdery balsamic vanilla you can definitely like it it reminds me of some of the Guerlain sweet fragrances which has amber and vanilla and a little bit of you know uh, sweetness which you wear for uh, winter time this is this is that fragrance okay so not totally unique but i like this bottle i like this fragrance this one definitely is worth checking out the whole line constantine constantine pole or something there's a name i forgot that one cairo and this all three are good and there are a few more in the line so overall babylon is a very nice presentation 10 for the presentation check out this and i mean like these are <coughs> these are gorgeous presentations okay you cannot deny that but is it worth the $250 plus? Not to me. If this was 150 bucks range, that would be good. But uh, if you can get discounted, perhaps you'll get under 150 bucks, then worth checking out. So Babylon, nice little perfume, very nice, uh, like comforting kind of, uh, not really nose burning or disturbing like Ragba is too aggressive. This one is not that. Uh, you can wear this for dating, nighttime as a lady, as a dude. I can smell this and then I can imagine like a Middle Eastern guy who is has long hair, you know, perhaps he's a fun character, fun loving guy, friendly guy. He's a trader, you know, he trades spices. He has a shop or he has a restaurant where they have excellent uh, food, you know, uh, that's what I feel. Babylon is a nice one, but perhaps I expect a little bit more, you know, like saffron or something a little bit more rugged leather would be nice that gives that masculine vibe. It's not totally masculine friend. That's the only thing I feel guys may not appreciate but women will love this perfume very nice warm vanilla uh, very sexy fragrance very a little bit of hint of powder somewhere i love this fragrance it's very very solid but if you ask me between this and kalemat just for the value i'll go arabian with kalemat just take a look at that bottle they're very similar but they have their own distinctive character yeah this one definitely has a fruity opening uh, you, if you like blueberry berries you can pick this up 
okay excellent longevity on that too overall babylon i'll give it an 8 out of 10 okay from house of pen elegance thank you so much for watching hopefully you tried out get a sample then you will get a full experience have a nice day thanks for watching i'll go upload this have a nice day bye bye